everyone, it's Maggie Bonnet here taking a little break from work to do vlog number six. And as you can see, it's kind of quiet in here today. Everyone's off on a retreat, so I figured if I'm taking a break, I might as well do a quick vlog. Uh, so this week I uh, played a bunch of Pandante, which is David Serlin's new Panda Texas Hold'em variant. And it was really fun, but no one I played it with liked it. <laughs> Because <laughs> if you take Texas Hold'em and then you add in a special powers and challenges and bluffing, but bluffing for things and stuff, I don't know, it was just, it was overly complicated I think, and so without a lot of heavy drinking I think it came off as just a little overdone. Um, that being said, we used those lovely panda chips, like it comes with little clay chips that we used, and we used those for like money in our game of Rococo because Rococo just doesn't have enough and we used it for scoring Rococo and it's just fun to play with poker chips. Um, that being said, we got another game of Rococo in, this time with a new player and three of us who have played a lot, and it was great fun. I, I did not do well. I do worse and worse as I go on this game, but um, I used a kind of muddled strategy of just doing a little bit of everything, which I want to do. And that's never a good idea. Uh, that said, we played Coal and Colony again. Um, so that was that Spielworks game that you really can't find anywhere. And by halfway through the first game of it, we kind of learned the rules. And so halfway through the second game, we kind of remembered the rules. So next time, we're going to try and get it on the table before a month goes by. Uh, that should help a lot. Um, lastly, M15, the latest spoilers are all up and about, and so I'm getting really excited. Pre-release weekend is coming up this coming weekend, so I'll probably go out and do at least one sealed deck event. Um, my favorite card by far, hands down, is the Hushwing Griff, which is like a flashy white 2-1, and when it comes in, uh, it makes creatures not use their enters the battlefield effect. So it's a really, really nice answer to a lot of big, crazy, splashy things like Crater of Behemoth, I'm coming for ya. I'm super excited about that one. There's also a seven casting Garrick, which is just bananas, and I'm really excited about him. Though I know he's a crappy card, I'm still gonna pay probably 20, 30 bucks just to have one, um, because it goes right into my John DDH, and I'll be real happy about that. Uh, the rest of M15 was kind of soured because they decided to put the pain lands in instead of fetches once again. Um, I was really heavily banking on fetches, so it looks like we're waiting another few months. Wizards is crazy if they don't put them in something sometime soon, so we'll, we'll have to wait and see. Uh, lastly, this coming Saturday, so July 12th, I will be appearing at the EMP Museum in Seattle. That is a the music experience museum, and they are doing a myth and magic fair. So it should be jousting and Harry Potter spells and fantasy, and at the evening part they're doing a masquerade ball, which also will have um, Sting, which is uh, the sword from Lord of the Rings, or the little dagger. Uh, it should be a lot of fun. I know people are dressing up and getting excited, so I'll probably come in my in my cloak and a bunch of glitter. I don't know about dressing up because I, I just never seem to have the stuff it takes to dress up or the effort. Other than that, I want to get a game of Fantasy Frontier this week. That is my goal. And there is a co-op game from last year called Freedom, the Underground Railroad, and I very much want to get that on a table. And y'all know I'm not one for co-ops, but it's supposed to be kind of like emotionally resonant, you know, re resonant. Um, you're supposed to actually have to work with people and feel really bad if you don't all succeed. Um, lastly, Viva, Viva Java, the coffee game, the dice game, which is the dice game version of Viva Java, which came out a couple of years ago. Um, that will be in my hot little hands in the next few days. I'm really excited about that. Uh, Viva Java is a it was this kind of semi-co-op game that came out and was really good for six to eight players who like medium weight games. So not exactly something you could get on every table. So they made a, a kind of easier Java dice game. I'm excited to try that one out and so I'll report back here when I know more. Bye guys, thank you!